What up dudes, it's Gaz, and welcome to the Warframe video. So today we're talking about another trash augment. Just like the one from yesterday, where we're going over the new Grendel augment that came out uh, last update on PC, and we'll be going over how to make it not bad, even though it usually is really bad, at least if you already have Prime Sure Footed. So before we get into it, make sure you're subbed to the channel, and make sure you check out the live stream uh, channel as well, for all the videos and content on this channel here. Alright, so... The Augment mod is called Hardy Nourishment. I actually remember the name this time. And what it's going to do is actually going to make it where you'll get status immunity for each enemy that is in your stomach when you use Grendel's second ability. Now keep in mind, normally this ability is going to affect other teammates as well. Unfortunately, this Augment does not affect your teammates. As we will show right here in the clip, You can base if you don't have Prime Share footed, maybe you can consider this if you're playing Grendel specifically. But we will eat some enemies here. We have uh, eight enemies in our gut. We use a second ability. And we've got about 22 seconds of status immunity. As you can see, our teammate who is here with us does not have status immunity. So I can shoot the ogres at my feet. He cannot shoot the ogres at his feet unless he wants to get knocked over. Which is, you know, unfortunate because Prime Share Footed is very annoying to get in the first place. So if you don't have it, uh, this is not going to really be helping you. Because the other thing as well is this is actually Grendel's Subsume ability. The Nourish. So... If you put the helmet system uh, and put this nourish ability on other frames and use this augment mod, it does nothing as you do not eat other you do not eat enemies as other frames. You need to use his one and then use his two. On Grendel specifically. On teammates, even if they're in your aura affected by your buffs, it does not work for them. So that already makes this not good. It is not an Exilus mod either. And Prime Sure Footed, if you have it, is an Exilus mod, which is gonna be the exact same thing basically. You know, there is a couple little, like, niche things that this will prevent that Prime Sure doesn't prevent, like toxin procs, I guess. But usually toxin damage overall, which is the problem here. So now, the only good thing this possibly you could, this could possibly do is, like, it scales with duration, I suppose. Um, so, with a 145% duration on the build, it gives you 2.9 seconds per enemy in your stomach. Now, honestly, I feel like Grendel could use some buffs. Uh, and I'm mostly thinking of an energy drain per second situation, where just like Gloom, uh, the ability of Sevagoth, which is subsumable, that let's get some logic like that, where you can the amount of energy drain per second caps out at like 10 enemies. As you can see over here, with 10 enemies in our stomach, we're draining our energy bar really fast, and I eat all of them. Now it's like, wow, I didn't even know energy could drain that fast. You use a second ability, we have 50 sec uh, 57 seconds of status immunity, but our energy bar is nearly gone. So, um, once those enemies are all out of there, you know, this is where Spectro Siphon usually comes into play, that build I uh, came up with like a year ago. Um, yeah, we're gonna go over another helmet synergy though. Like, yeah, this augment sucks. This is, you should, this augment is just like gar complete garbage. But we have Stealth Grendel today. It's not Spectro Siphon Grendel, uh, which I was. One of the first people to make, by the way. Um, it's actually going to be uh, Secret Agent Grendel 2021. Best red crit builds and all that stuff. Okay, so what we're doing here is it's kind of just a joke meme build, first off. But what you can do is you can be perma-invis as Grendel. And stay as immune. Literally better than the garbage augment they just introduced. Why are Grendel's augments such garbage? But what we're doing is we're subsuming... Ivara's Quiver ability onto the third, because the third ability usually is trash, and the fourth ability actually has a use for this specific case. Now, I've not exactly min-maxed this build, but what you want to definitely use is the Empowered Quiver Augment mod, because this will give you status immunity, just like the, the trash augment, Hardy Nourishment. But keep in mind, if you have negative power strength, the chance to uh, resist a proc actually goes down. So if you have, like, overextended on here for more range, uh, you, you will not... You will not prevent all stasses. You will take a lot of them, actually. So as you can see right there, 40% power strength, 39% chance to resist. So you want to have at least 100% strength. Uh, we've got efficiency and duration mostly on here. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the invisible arrow from Ifara, and then we're going to eat the enemy with the first ability from Grendel. We, we can technically use our two as well, but and like I said, Grendel's got some energy issues. So you're going to do what you can. And we've got Stealth Drift, just because it is a Stealth Grendel build, and it makes sense to put Stealth Drift on Stealth Grendel, right? And let's see if anything else has the word Stealth in it. No, we have every Stealth mod in the game, so we are good. Now what we can do here is we can actually uh, have a Stealth 4th ability on Grendel as well. Now there's a couple of problems with this. Um, basically, the enemy in your stomach is going to eventually die, 
But yeah, we can actually walk around Perma and Viz because we eat the enemy that has the stealth arrow on them. And now it's in our stomach. But it's also giving us an Invisbo. Someone on Discord did tell me about this, so I did not completely think of this on my own. Um, so I would just like to credit them. Uh, they, I don't think they want to be named, but yes, thank you, person that told me about this. Uh, but yes, you can be an invisible meatball, so if you have a little bit more strength, maybe you could be one-shotting some decently low-level enemies. See, the duration ran out. We're going to need to shoot another enemy with our invis arrow, and then eat them again to go back to the apartment invis. Now, keep in mind, this is also going to affect your teammates as well. If you are running around with enough range, you will make your teammates invisible. And since we have the status immunity augment, we can shoot our feet with the Brahma or the Ogress or whatever and be status immune. This, I, I'd go ahead and say this is just definitely just strictly better than the uh, normal Grendel augment. But the problem is you have to helmet this ability on. And we still have the energy issues that Grendel usually has. Which is why I went with a Spectro Siphon step in the first place, like a, like a year ago. So, yeah, you don't have the energy sustain, but you have... You could be Stealth Grendel, which is funny enough already. So, um, shoot him with the arrow, eat him up. Never do, like, the, the hold button, like, the, the noise arrow. I guess it'd be kind of funny for some, like, situations where you're, like, you're waiting in the background for an enemy to walk by you and you're, like, waiting to eat them. For some roleplay situations, I could see it being very funny. But, um, just normally, like, no. And you have to be pretty precise with the Stealth arrow because you have to actually collide the enemy with the Stealth arrow before you, um before you can actually like eat them and as you can see we're like getting hit by homing rockets right now because they had hit they shot at us before we went in this so it's not a foolproof method but if you want to do a spy mission as grendel or just like run through immune uh statuses and all that kind of stuff here you go um i, I definitely would not call this a top tier option for grendel but it is a new a new op it is an option how about that you are like a stealth support now instead of an energy support which you know is potentially useful it's very gimmicky Let's just show a quick uh, exterminate mission with this setup on Grendel. Now, I really do think Grendel could use some buffs. I feel like his third ability, the uh, Regurgitate, where it shoots out an enemy like a cannonball, that should probably just leave a, cor a corrosive trail of of like damage on the ground. Similar to the Cost Assist Heavy Attack. Because the third ability on Grendel is the one that most people subsume off. Because at least his fourth ability, Pulverize, is funny sometimes. Um, but the third ability is just, has basically no merit to it at all. And I feel like that one could use the biggest buffs. Um, he could definitely use a capped energy drain on his one. Now, there's, I was thinking about this earlier today. It might potentially be kind of OP if he has too good of an energy economy. Because the ability is actually very powerful what it's doing. Eating an enemy, taking them off the field. They are no longer on the field anymore. They cannot fight back. They are getting their armor melted per second. And they also are going to take some scaling, uh, toxin procs when you eventually barf them up so it is a very powerful ability that i guess is balanced by the horrible energy drain but i definitely do feel like the energy drain is a little bit too horrible at this point and that could use a buff as well um as far as his four i really don't use it enough to really give too much of a strong opinion on it but i feel like it could definitely use some um some type of buff as well maybe make change the damage type maybe make it do uh corrosive maybe make it scale with how many enemies are in your stomach i don't even know if it does that um or maybe make it do true damage. I, I don't know. Like, there's many ways they could go about doing it. Uh, the exact, like, solution, I, I feel like it would not be too insanely hard to uh, decide on. And I feel like they could go a little, they should go a little bit ham with the buffs. As he is a very annoying frame to get in the first place. And I believe he also costs a good amount of plat if you were to buy him with platinum. Like, 300 plus platinum. So, he should be, like, really, honestly, really good. And he is, he's also, like, a very unique looking frame, honestly. I, I Grendel has some great fashion options where he is just like a big like eating demon thing or like a sumo wrestler or whatever um, with that Volbjorn skin if you got that one he looks great I feel like he deserves better uh, I really do and I it wouldn't take much to make him a lot better I feel like so yeah like you don't need to replace any abilities just give give a, a toxin trail that corrodes armor from his three uh, scaling damage on his four somehow uh, cap energy drain on his one and his two Mm, there's some... They could probably find a way to buff his two as well, honestly. Um, maybe make it where the buffs are increased. I don't... The, the only thing that's bad about his two is I find Nourished Armor pretty underwhelming as it is pretty much just like... I think it's flat damage that goes up with power strength if an enemy shoots you and they'll take some toxin damage. It's pretty good against Corpus, but against anything with armor, the toxin damage that from his 
his uh, nourished armor does basically nothing. So that could definitely use a little bit of a touch-up. I feel like nourished strike and nourished energy are fine. Um, fine enough, as I do scale with power strength relatively well. Low power strength built on Grendel for nourish are actually... They they, they, they get a good amount of uh, no, value out of some, some power strength, too. So, yeah, guys, this is the uh, nourish... Or the stealth Grendel, special agent burger, as I was calling him earlier. Um... And yeah, the augment is complete trash. Like honestly, this one and the Protea one, like wow, like really, okay. I guess if you don't, so here, let's like let's make one situation. Let's look like the Protea video. But by the way, apparently if your Sentinel is dead, you still get the, the stat stick bonus. But I thought they patched that a while ago. Um, let's make one situation where you could potentially use this. You don't have Prime Sure Footed. You love Grendel. You you want to use the Kuva Ogress and don't want to get knocked over. Uh, your name is Chuck. If all these stars align, this might, mod might be good to you. But if these stars don't align and you do have Prime Sure Footed, your name isn't Chuck, and uh, you, you don't like burgers, this is not the mod for you. And honestly, you just might want to play Revenant. Revenant just invalidates most things that are being released nowadays. Um, and just in general. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Hopefully you found the video fun and helpful. Uh, Stealth Grendel. It's, it's sneaky. It's the sneakiest this meatball is ever going to be. Peace, guys.